Hey team, welcome back inside the training bay. Today we're gonna to talk about another one of the drills that's inside our level one ground force protocol with Super Speed Golf. Now, if you haven't watched the first video, make sure you go back and watch the, the first video where we posted the progression of working through how to understand where to push and where to feel specifically on these force plates. But I'm gonna assume that you've watched that video. Now we're gonna progress. We're now we're gonna start using this application with a golf club. And today what we're gonna talk about is we're gonna go through this progression hitting some punch shots. The reason why we're gonna reduce the length of the swing is for so many players, if we can start to understand a concept at a shorter swing or sometimes even a slower speed, there's a better chance of us carrying that thought as we get into a full swing. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start and we're gonna start to hit some punch shots with these force pedals. So reminder how we have it set up. I have the large orange force pedal under my trail foot and then I'm gonna have the uh, smaller yellow force pedal under my lead foot. Now, before we get into that, just make sure if you don't subscribe to this channel already, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you like these videos and hit that little bell to get a notification when we drop more videos, just like this one. So what I'm going to do is I've got my six iron here. I'm gonna get set up. I have my right foot on the heel with a little bit of the force pedal exposed. And then with my lead foot, I'm gonna go ball of foot. And the feel I'm looking for is, yes, I'm just gonna be making a half swing. But what I'm going to do is as soon as I decide to take that club back, I'm gonna make sure that I'm really engaging that force pedal, really pushing down with that force pedal on my right foot. And then as soon as I make my transition down to the fall or down to the down swing, I'm then gonna transition and I'm gonna make sure that I really feel myself engaging the force pedal under my lead foot. So backswing, I'm smashing this one, downswing, I'm smashing that one. So I'll do a few here for you with no ball, and then we're gonna hit a few with a golf ball. So right now, again, I've just got the feeling in the backswing, I'm crushing down the orange, and then crushing down the yellow. And the thing that I like with the force pedal is I'm really getting fantastic feedback. I can feel myself apply some force in both directions. And I'll stop and reset every time, feel the pedals, and then go ahead and execute that shot. All right, so now we're gonna switch over views and I'm actually gonna hit some golf shots with this setup. All right, now it's time to hit some punch shots with these force pedals. So I've got a golf ball set up I've got my force pedal set up the exact same way I had it from the other angle. And now the goal is as I hit these little half shots is remember backswing, we're really trying to crush down on the orange pedal and then downswing, we're really trying to press on that yellow pedal. So we'll sit up here and I'll hit one. And right now, the key thing we're looking for is can we start to get an understanding even in these short shots of pushing on those force pedals at the right time and in the right spot. I'll go again. And if we start to sequence this properly, I know some of you are thinking that we might struggle with a little bit of contact, but if we're sequencing this properly, there's a chance we're actually gonna be hitting some pretty, some pretty good ball first, nice contacts div in front of the golf ball. Okay, I'll hit a few more here. And the thing personally for me that I'm always working on, I can feel that orange pedal pretty good, but it's the yellow one in the downswing that as soon as I initiate that downswing, I'm really trying to feel like I'm really pushing down on that pedal. Okay, pretty good one there. I'm gonna do this one more time. So again, get the ball set up, get my force pedal set up, and then crush them in both directions. All right, so we've got a pretty good feel with force pedal now. Let's go through this progression with no force pedals. All right, so we've done it with the force pedals. Now it's time to do it without. By now, I hope what you've gathered an understanding or a feel of is where we need to apply force into our feet in both directions. In the back swing, we're trying to get that feeling on the inside of that right heel. And then as we make transition to the down swing, we're really trying to feel like we're smashing and pushing off of the inside of the ball of foot. Now to test ourselves, we're gonna take that force pedal away. Now I've gone through and I've gone through the progression from the video that we posted previously, and I went through the punch shots with the force pedal today, but now I'm gonna take the force pedals away 
and see if I can start to replicate that feel without any feedback. So right now what I'm thinking of is I have that feeling that right now I'm still trying to feel in the back swing that I'm trying to get some pressure inside that right foot. And then once I get to the lead side, I'm really trying to feel like I'm smashing down on my left foot. Okay. So I reset every time and I remind myself of the trigger, smash the trail foot and then smash the lead foot. All right, I've got a pretty good feel. Let's switch angles and let's hit a few with a golf ball with no force pedals. All right, so now it's time to put it all together. So we've taken the force pedals away and as we've gone through this progression, we should by now have a pretty good understanding of what it feels like to push in those spots. And even as I go to get set up here, I can already tell, like I almost have that feeling in my mind that I remember where the force pedals were and exactly where I want to push. So now we're gonna go through this progression, no force pedal, but still making these little half shots, feeling the exact same sensation as when we had the pedals there. Pretty good strike there. And again, I'm just trying to see, can I continue to make quality contact while more than anything, prioritizing that feel of our feet. Okay, really solid strike there. I'm gonna hit a few more. Okay, that swing got a little bit longer, but I still felt the push in the spot that I wanted to. So one more here. Again, I'm gonna get set up. And as soon as I make that back swing, I'm really feeling that right foot engage. And as soon as I go transition, I'm really gonna feel that left foot engage. All right, another pretty good strike there. So with this progression today, we've started introducing some swinging. We've started with some half swings with force pedal, without the golf ball, then introduce the golf ball. And then we progress, we take the force pedal away to see if we can continue to replicate that feel without the feedback of the force pedals. So this has been another progression in our level one ground force protocol, which is short punch shots with and without the force pedal. I hope by the end of this, and if you watch our last video as well, you're starting to get a pretty good understanding where we need to apply force on each foot, but also a couple of drills that can give us some feedback and then also a way to test once we remove the force pedals. As always, in the, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments down below. And make sure you subscribe to this channel because we've got more videos coming to help you swing faster and shoot lower scores. Have a great day.